Hi guys, Dan here from CSCGaming.net and I'm bringing you a review that I wasn't exactly planning on bringing you. It's the Trident AX Pro new 5.1 Dubus surround sound version. I was in store today, I, was, I had just sold my old AX Pros to get a new set, just to kind of keep a fresh warranty. And I noticed this, and well, I didn't have this in my last version, so I realised something is very different here. So... I've had a quick look, I checked online, and there is a new version of the Triton AX Pros. Um, so here's a bit of a review. First off, you can see, first off, the amp box is a hell of a lot bigger than the last one was. Um, you've got your USB, your optics, your 3, your 5.1 outs, and the power cable. You've got your fancy Triton on the front. And on this side, we have a volume control. Uh, with a power button, you've got the CTR. This is a new feature on them. I'll go through that in a second. The TD, the PL2s, the DRC, and the Doobie surround sound, along with two yes USB connections. So that's a big difference on the new headset. Um, first off, the CRT. As far as I'm aware, this is a new feature on them. And what you can now do is hear yourself in game if you want to turn it on or off, just to be able to control your own volume on that and it comes with a nice little stand something very basic but definitely gonna do the job and it just slots in like so and looks all sexy on your desktop when you're playing next we've got pretty much the microphone which i notice is seems different than the original one it's um a lot more like easy to manipulate and you can put it in a shape and it stays there it doesn't just go back to the original shape like the last one which is quite nice because i found the other one kind of always just ended up being perfectly straight so it'll be great for keeping your headset straight and just kind of putting a twist on it to get the best mic volume out of it so that's that's a nice bonus it's still rem a removable microphone with your your basic jack and the headset first thing i'm going to point out on the headset and um, it looks the same as the last one, but one big difference is you now have swivel ear cups, which are great. So depending what way it fits on your head, it's going to be really nice. Sometimes, you know, if you're commentating, like I do a couple of commentaries, it's great to actually just stick this on your head so you don't have to have the headset on at all times. Um, it's, getting, it's probably going to stop a lot of people from breaking the headsets as well. You know, you're paying up to 200 quid for these, so... You know, it's definitely going to be a bonus. The next thing you're going to point out is there is a different controller. You've got your main volume up and down with your game volume mute. You've got your front speakers, your center, the rear and the sub. It kind of looks a lot nice, more aggressive looking, I reckon. You've got your connection for your Xbox at the bottom. And then what you have is your, your mic volume up and down. This isn't a, a, like a roller wheel anymore, it's a kind of a, a push volume up and down. And you've got your mic mute. Another thing I, I like to see is this little clip here. Um, just for clipping it on, I found this in the last one. It was a small little clip, black clip, in line. And um, it wasn't very strong, it would slide around the place. At least when you put this in place now, it's going to stay there. And again, the legendary USB power key for the Tritons. The only thing I spot, which I'm not 100% sure will be an issue, is that you can see the top corner is, is kind of angled on this. So I don't know whether that's going to stop us from being able to use it. And I do spot here that it, it's not a normal USB. But we'll see if there's a workaround on that. On top of that then, it's your usual bits and pieces. You've got your plug. You've got your PC adapter. Upside on this, this might be the key here. We've got the connection for the headset. And the other side, we've got your 5.1s and also just your normal USB. This is for the PC gamers, but it might help us at LAN, so that could be a bonus. You've got your connection for your Xbox. This plugs into the bottom of the control, and that goes in your controller. You've got your USB out. This is for PlayStation users. You've got your optics. And I'm not 100% sure. Someone's probably going to correct me if I'm wrong. This is for Xbox gamers. Uh, in the back of your Xbox and you've got an optics cable and I have a spare set of earmuffs I don't like the leather ones they make me a little bit sweaty so around the ear so this is it um, 
AX Pros, guys, you know they're a serious headset. They're not a virtual surround sound. They are real surround sound. Um, I love them. I've had them for AX Pros for two years. I've had three sets. And the only reason I've had three sets is that I keep just buying a new fair because... I don't know, I have OCD or some NordC or something, I don't know. But um, listen, guys, that's all from me, CSC Dan from CSCGaming.net. Please drop a comment below, like, subscribe, and if you have any ideas how for me to get these ready for LAN for EGL7, uh, post a comment below. Cheers.